Good morning. It is Thursday. It is arm day. I'm feeling a little bit better. I've been resting a lot. Um, so uh, the weather's not that great. I guess there's a hurricane somewhere, a few hurricanes, I believe. And I guess we got like a really bad, like, little rain action last night. Um, I'm not sure where. It's saying that some areas are getting tropical storms, but I'm not sure. I didn't really get to see where the radar is for our land. But I hope you're having a great month. Uh, well, Thursday. It is Thursday. Close to Friday. Ah! <laughs> oh, man. So I hope you're having a great Thursday morning. Today is arm day. We're going to start with cardio, like always, and then we're going into weights. I am doing a little new one. It's called stepper i have um i'm using for my to step up i'm using my uh some of my other weights that i'm just gonna step on you can use uh really anything that has like you can use a cardboard box that has something in it so it doesn't collapse on you you can use uh really anything that's a little, a little over an inch on the ground um, if you have your own stepper, you can use it. Uh, so, but I'm going to do some steppers to get your body and your heart rate going. And we're going to also move our arms because it is arm day. So, let's begin. So, we're going to do a hundred of them, hoping these weights stay in place. They don't move too much. So let's begin. So we're going. I said we're going to do a hundred, and all I'm doing is stepping and moving our arms, stepping and moving our arms, stepping on, stepping off, stepping on. And I usually start with my left. You can start with your right, your left, but I start with my right leg and pick up my my left leg, and then pick up my right leg, and then sometimes my right decides to go in front. So it all. Depends on how you feel, but I'm going to try to continue stepping with my left. So we're going to do a uh, hundred for stepper. Let's begin. One, <laughs> two, <laughs> three, four, five, six, seven. Get those arms pumping. Eight, nine. Ten, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, two, stay, one, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, three, just fixing, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, Ten. One more, and we're halfway there. You got this one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Halfway there. You got this one. Two. Fixing. Three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, stay, ten, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten, three more. You got this. One, two, 
three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Two more. You got this one. Two, three, four, fixing, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One last one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good job and relax. I'm just going to move these out of the way. We're going to go right into jumping jacks for 100. It's just your simple jumping jack. Going like this. Woo. Open your legs. And we're going to do it a little quick so we can get those arms really going and lose some fat and some and tone those arms really well. Let's begin for a hundred. Let's begin. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Halfway there, you got this one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five. Seven, eight, nine, ten. One last one. You got this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And relax. Next, we're going to do an invisible jump rope. If you have one, you can use it. If not, we're going to do 200 of them. And you can just move your arms. And we're going to go a little quicker. Just once again to get the arm going and get the blood flowing in your arms. So let's begin. Oh, hi, good morning now. Whew. Wanna say good morning? No. <laughs> she wants to sniff the weights. Okay, let's begin and we're gonna go a little quick with the jump roping for 200. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Halfway there to a hundred. Good morning, viewer. Two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Last two, you got this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One last one, you got this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and relax. The next one we're going to do is jump rope to the side, side to side, which is basically boop, boop, boop with the jump rope. If you have a jump rope, you can use it. If not, you can use the invisible jump rope with your arms. And we're going to do a hundred of them. And we're not going to go as quick. We're just going to keep a steady pace. Doop, 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 doop. Just a steady pace to go side to side. So let's begin. Oh, hello. Hi, babies. You want to say hi? You want to say hi? Say hi. No? 
She's on the bed, relaxing with mommy. She loves her mother. Okay, let's begin to side to side for a hundred. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Halfway there, you got this one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Three more, you got this one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One last one, finish strong. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And relax. Good job. To me, cardio gets your heart rate going. I like, I like cardio. I like sweating just to release. It relieves the stress. It relieves. If you have anxiety, I like I do, I have anxiety. It just, when I go for a run, when I work out and cardio away, it just relieves everything, stress, anxiety at that moment. And it just soaks up the fat. It soaks up <laughs> and makes me a little bit, makes me more awake that I can push through the day. And I don't wake up, I feel groggy, even though I have coffee, even though I have breakfast, energized breakfast, it just makes me feel groggy the rest of the day, makes me feel not pretty, makes me not feel, you know, makes me, I look in the mirror and I'm like, I'm disgusted at myself. But I'm not, I'm just taking a rest. In. But it's just in my mind, so when I work out, especially when I do cardio, it just makes me feel so much better myself. And that's what you guys got to think. When you do cardio, do it for yourself. Don't do it for others. And that's why I do. That's why I've been on this journey. And that's why I became a personal trainer to show you guys that you can inspire yourself and reach for your goals. You don't have to exactly do what I do, you know, but a lot of people do ask me, how do I lose so much weight? How do I get my body toned? And this is how. I push myself to do things, and I find new ways of working out, especially at home. I've Ever since COVID, I've been finding ways to work at home. I used to be a gym junk, and that was the only way I could lose weight until COVID came. And I started learning, oh, well, there's other ways of working out at home without using videos, without using any means, but yourself and your workout gear and your workout weights, or without weights. You just use the stuff around you. And it, it helped me and it inspired me to do it more often at home than, oh, I have to drive, go to the gym, you know, come off of work. You can just do it at home when you come off of work. Relax, do it in your own space. You don't have to bring a duffel bag and drag yourself back out when you drove all day. Because I, I work 40 minutes away. I just want to come straight home after work. I don't want to be like, oh, I gotta go to the gym. Nope, I want to work out. I'll work out when I get home. I'll prepare while I'm working out. I'll prepare my dinner. It's cooking in the oven. I'll work out while I'm waiting. And then I can take a shower in my own house. Love it. Made a plan to succeed at home. And you can too. Just come follow me. Um, on my Facebook, on my YouTube page, and you can add, you can comment, you can like pages, you can share things, you could comment saying, hey, can you do it this way? I can show you so many different ways. Just comment below. So 
So let's get going with, that was our little, little relaxation. Let's begin with weight. We're going to do arms. I'm going to do, we're going to start with punches in front. We're going to use my little dumbbell weight. So let me get my gloves on. So I don't, so when I sweat with my hands, they don't slip, they don't fall on me when, when they drop, if they are too slippery. Because I bruise easily, and they're really good for calluses. If your hands are, if you're using, especially if you're using this heavier weight and you're holding them on your hands, especially right here, on your palms, get calluses. Ooh, if they open up, they burn. They're not fun. I've had that happen until I start using weight gloves. So let's do some punches. We're going to do, what did I say? Doop, doop, doop. Nope. Did I? We're going to do 100 breaths and then 100 more. So let's begin with some punches. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Halfway there, you got this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Last two. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Last one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10. Good job, and just relax. Let's stretch a little bit with your arms. Stretch, stretch, and let's do another 100. Let's begin. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, Seven, eight, nine, ten, one. Woo! You got this. Keep going. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Halfway there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Three more. You got this one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Last two. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Last one. Finish strong. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good job. Woo! Whew, I'm feeling the burn, which is a good thing. You want to feel the burn. So now we're going to do lateral raises. We're going to do it together for 100. And then we're going to do singular for 100. So I'm going to use the same one. And let's begin. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Two more. You're halfway there. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, 
eight, nine, ten, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and let's just relax and stretch. It's always good in between sets, just really when you're halfway there to just stretch a little bit to get that muscle really stretched and be ready for the next set. So that's why I like to do, especially my arms. My arms are not as strong as my legs. I can continue throughout the reps, continue doing 100. So my arms, I like to really, uh, stretch it in between. So it's really good. And it also helps your arms to get stronger when, every single time you stretch. So plus i have no i have no, been known for straining my side neck muscle into my shoulder on the right side so i'm also trying to be careful not to pull that as well so so 50 more for i i said lateral yes lateral raises together for 50 more one two three four Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, three more. You got this one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Last two, one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One last one, you got this one. Two, three, four, five, six, finish strong. Seven, eight, nine, ten, and good job. Now we're going to do single arms. We're going to start off with 50, and then we're going to take a little rest, and then 50 more. So let's begin. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You can use no weight, little weight, higher weight. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Last two. Eight, nine, ten. One last one before we rest. One, two, three, four, five, six. You got this. Seven, eight, nine, ten, and rest for a second stretch. Your arms, and you also want to just so you're not your legs are not tensing up. You just want to. I usually try to just move back and forth so I can have the blood flowing because sometimes you, when you stand still straight, your knees lock. And that's what you don't want. Lock knees because then you can literally just collapse or just be so stiff that when you're doing the next arm movement or leg movement, it's hard for you to move. So when you're stretching the body part that you're working out, just move a little bit for your legs or even your arms if you're doing a leg workout. So that's why I'm always constantly moving my legs so they're not stiff as a board each time I do a next session or next rep. So 50 more, let's begin for single lateral raises. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine, ten, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Two more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten, one last one. You got this one. Two, three, 
four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and relax. So now we're going to do flies. We're going to do straight flies with a flat back or a little arch back, but it, it looks arch in the camera, but actually it's a flat back. And we're doing low flies, and then we'll do up flies with a bent arm, and that's, that. It, this is 90 degrees, this is, I think, half of 90, I think like 30 degrees, which, you know, no arches in your back at all. So we're going to start with low, low flies. And then we'll go upper wrist bent. So we'll do a hundred, a hundred. So let's begin. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Halfway there, you got this one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ten, three more, you got this one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, last two, you got this one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, last one, finish strong. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and rest. For a second, stretch a little bit because we're going to do flies with the bent R higher up for a hundred. And let's begin. So remember, we're on a 30 degree angle for your back, and we're doing bent irons. All of this is basically, especially when you do bending, helps your tricep. Um, flies are really good for that triceps and the uh, shoulder blade area. I love doing that. Triceps are my worst place to try to tone it up. Everywhere else on my arm tones up, but tries are a little difficult, like back of my thighs are my enemy. And so tries are my enemy. So, but everyone has their, their little problem areas that they have to work harder for, which I do. And flies are the best place to for your triceps. So flies with a 30 degree angle on your back and bent for a hundred. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ten, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Halfway there, you got this one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ten, three more, you got this. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, two more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Last one, finish strong, you got this one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Relax. Now we'll go on the floor. I'll get the big bigger weight and we're going to do 50 overweight overheads <sighs> fix my headphones 
Yeah, I'll go this way so you can see it better. So I keep my legs bent, feet planted on the floor. I lay full leg down, and I bring this over over my chest, and I drop, 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 drop. And make sure your arms are straight, and then when you come down, they're completely bent, basically onto the ground. Drop, drop, and you're basically dropping it over your chest. So we're going to do 50 of them. You can use no weight, little weight, higher weight, whatever you want. You can use even use a broomstick you want just as long as you're doing the right positioning of your arms to get the feel of where you want it the overheads are mainly for your biceps your triceps and your forearms so it's a whole motion of your arms and it's really good for your shoulders so if you're not doing the right you're not going to feel the burn where it's supposed to feel which is mainly your shoulders and your and your bicep so, but it's also a good overall feeling of your whole arm. So let's begin with 50. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Three more. You got this one. Two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, two more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Last one, finish strong. You got this one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And one more for good luck. And down. And you don't want to drop when you come down. You don't want to completely just drop on your chest because that you don't want to hurt yourself. You want to easily drop it, and I usually drop it down where my thighs are, and I'll balance it, and then I take it off because you don't want it just collapsing. You don't want any of your weight, even your legs, just collapse. That's not a good form to bring it down. You want to gently release it slowly down onto you and rolling it off you. I've learned the hard way at the gym when I first, I collapsed, I almost got hurt. It, it would have been a bad situation because I almost dropped it on my, even though I was wearing sneakers. These things will hurt you no matter if you're padded or not. It really do some damage. So now we're going to do double arm row. I'm going to get this and we're gonna do we're gonna do a hundred rest another hundred and all we're doing is bent legs for support and bend your leg uh, bend your arms back like that and my back is a little straight just a little curve a little curve because my legs are bent so Bending your legs for support, go a hundred, double arm row. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Halfway there, you got this one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Two more, you got this one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One last one. One, two, three, four. Then a strong five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and rest. Good.
good job. So for the next hundred, we're going actually instead of double, we're going to actually do single. I'm going to do it on the floor. I just had to move that out of the way. I'll put that there. And we're just going to place our hand on the ground and we do double. And we're going to sit with our knee, knees on the ground for support. So, and our back is flat. It looks like when we do donkey kicks. But we're not doing donkey kicks. We're going to do single arm row. We're going to do 100 on each side. Actually, we're going to do 50 and 50 for to make 100 and 200 all together. So 50 and 50 on each side. So let's begin. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Two more. You got this one. Two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One last one. You got this one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And switch. So I'm going to switch to the other side so you can see. Hand on the ground. Legs like when we do donkey kicks. Foot fell asleep. Shake, shake, shake. There we go. And 50 on the side. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let's do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, last one, three. Five, six, finish strong, seven, eight, nine, ten, and relax. Then we're going to stand up. We're going to do the middle flies. Let's see what other. Okay, we got a few more. I know we're going a little over, but I got, because I missed Tuesday, I'm trying to really get more of yesterday, today's workout more. So. So we got a little bit more arms, and plus I'm explaining more. So it's just taking, and I'm resting in between more, especially on the arms. So it's going to take a little more, which is fine. So, we, so we're going to do middle flies, and I'm going to use the same ones. And all you're doing is bent arms, and we're literally doing our chest and going back. So we're going to place it in front of our chest and go back, back. And this helps the back of the, um, your back, your upper back where your shoulder blades are, your triceps, and your chest. I, I don't need lesser chest, <laughs> but it does help. It gets you a little, gets your underneath where your um, armpits are, where you're close to your, if you're a female, where you breasts are, your male, where your pecs are and everything, uh, it helps reduce that fat if you have it. I have a little bit of it for some reason. So, but these are the middle flies. And let's begin. We're going to do a hundred of them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Halfway there, you got this. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Last two. You got this one. Two, three, four, five, 
six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One last one. Finish strong. You get this one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And rest. The next we're going to do punches up. And we'll just, we'll do 30 of them. So let's begin. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One last one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good job. Woo. Just to continue getting get going. Next, we're gonna do upright upright uh upright row Woo. tongue twister right there Woo. and we're just going to do the middle and we're going to do a hundred i'm going to bring my bar back so we're just going to go in the middle like this we're not so our back is my legs are bent a little bit our back is three 30 degrees in an angle form and the middles. So we're going to do a hundred. So let's begin. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Halfway there, you got this one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Last two. Last two. You got this one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Last one. One, two, three, four, five, six. Finish strong. You got this. Left. Eight, nine, ten, and drop down. Good job. Let's see if I did everything. Awesome. We did. Now I just have the bonus, which is high knees with a crunch and that that's without we're going to do that without weight and we're going to do 200 of them but we're going to go really quickly so high knees is this with a crunch because our dabs our dabs our abs i'm so glad this is the last one because i can't talk anymore our abs are just a little little curve in the back and a little crunch so we're making a crunch uh so let's begin for 200 and we're doing high knees quick so balls on your feet and go one two three four five six seven eight nine ten one two three four five six seven eight nine ten Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Half right there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One last one. Two, one hundred. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ten half right there, you got this one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Half right there, you got this. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine, ten. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Two more. You got this one. Two, three, four, five, 
six, seven, eight, nine, ten, one last one, finish strong. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and relax. And that's the end of the arm day. Thank you for your love and your support. And I hope you have a good day. Uh, I have to do a little bit of errands. Hopefully it doesn't pour on me. If it looks like it's going to rain. I really don't know because the sun's peeking out. And then it doesn't. So but I hope you have an amazing Thursday. I'll see you tomorrow for more art day. So I'll talk to you then. Bye.